Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to scrape this table from bar chart to get a list of tickers that are optionable. We can't really scrape this table with Arvest how we usually do. There's another process for web pages that have scripts running in the background. So today I'll be going over that. So if we take a look at the code in our studio, here are some packages that we're going to require. We are going to pass in our URL. We're going to save the page cookies, and then we're going to extract the token needed to access the page. So if we run that block, so after you extract the cookies and the token, we're going to pass that into the URL and we're going to use RVS to extract the page. So if we run this block, we can now extract the correct page from the script. And then we're going to save that under this new variable to get the raw content. And then I'm going to convert it into a data frame. Now that we have a data frame, I'm going to fix the time because the current timestamps are in Unix time. So I'm going to run this line. And if we take a look at the data, we see that we got close to 4,400 tickers that are optionable along with other stock information that might be useful. Now I didn't actually come up with this script. I actually got some help from Stack Overflow, but I wanted to show you guys how to scrape a table from a page that has scripts running in the background. So I'll go ahead and show you the steps on how to do that. So if we open up Google Chrome and go to that page, you can right click anywhere and click inspect. And then we click on sources, scroll to the bottom, and I'm going to click on this drop down that says XHR. Make sure you have this box checked. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And this will pause the page every time a script is loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this blue button that says resume until I see that it's a link from bar chart for the table. So if I press it one more time, it's going to load up the next script. And I believe all these are ads. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here until I see the link from bar chart. And then we'll continue after that. All right, guys, so I found the link from bar chart. So this is the actual link we're going to use to fetch the table. And if you scroll down, so under the scope, you'll see our token. But I want to copy this field, which contains all the column names I want to extract from this table. So if you double click it, you can copy it using control C and then we're going to go to our studio, go to our script, and then I'm going to paste it right underneath. So we see that what we copied is actually this link here. All we need to add in front of it is barchart.com and I have actually just broken it down to make it easier to read, but the link is identical. So that's all we needed to get from our web browser in order for us to scrape the table in case you were wondering where this URL came from. So that concludes this video, guys. I'll post this on GitHub and I'll post the link in the description area. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.